Alright guys, we're going to Vietnam today, hopefully. It's been a bit stressful these two days planning out this trip because um, first of all the flight has changed like to earlier and secondly my visa for Vietnam still hasn't cleared. She didn't need a visa so I thought I probably don't need a visa either. I was wrong. I need an e-visa, which takes three days to clear, and I applied three days ago and it still hasn't cleared, so... Let's hope that it will all go well. And anyways, we're currently on the train from our hometown in Taiwan to the airport, where we'll arrive in about an hour. And then, uh, yeah, we hopefully gonna board a plane to Vietnam. The skin of my teeth. We were at the check-in. Uh, desk and they asked for my visa and uh, yesterday we hired like a uh, agency to get like an urgent you know visa thing it was like yeah I'll be able to send it out in 10 minutes so we were at the desk had to wait there for 10 minutes and then the visa came or it's kind of like a, an invitation letter so I can get a visa on arrival the holiday should be saved anyway we're boarding now see you in Hanoi That was uh, the craziest immigration I've ever experienced. It was like, it was like all pretty funny timing. And we went through the line through immigration, right? And then the lady at the, you know, at the, the guard at the immigration point said that this is only the arrival letter. You still need to make the visa on arrival. And there was like a different counter to go there. So then we went there and then like it was, it was chaos. It was like a group of, of Chinese people there. And they were all like, you know, at the counter, like banging and everything, like trying to get their, their, their visa process earlier. And apparently some people were already waiting for a long time. And while we were waiting for that one to be processed, my girlfriend told me, check, check the, the e-visa one that you applied beforehand. And it turned out that that one got approved in the meantime. <laughs> I quickly went to the, to the desk again and got my passport back. He, he was a bit confused, like you got a visa on arrival letter, but now you already got a visa, you know, he was just confused. But then he was like, oh, just, <laughs> just go. <laughs> so we're in. So, uh, yeah, finally our adventure can begin, but we're hungry and tired. So I think right now it's just getting some, some quick food in and then uh, going to the hotel. But yeah, we're, we're in. That's, that's a good, good news. hotel room not too bad the nice thing is we are on the ninth floor so we're a little bit above all the traffic noise because it's pretty crazy we're like in downtown Hanoi and we got a pretty nice view as well check it out Yeah, it's a, it's a bustling city. It uh, reminds me of Indonesia, Jakarta. It's like hustle and bustle. But uh, we're going straight down back into the hustle and bustle to get some food because we're both craving some food. Probably Vietnamese food, but let's see what we'll find.
She got the actual original Fobo. That is looking pretty amazing. I know we're at a full place, but I uh, went for something else. Wonton noodle soup. But she got the actual full and it smells so good. I'll take it next time. Hers is so much better. I love my fault. Next time. Oh, they have this thing here in Vietnam, Pan Mi. It's the best thing ever. It's like Vietnamese amazing flavors on French like baguette. I'll definitely try that sometime, but uh, we're gonna go back to the hotel, get an early night's sleep, because tomorrow we're gonna go to Ha Long Bay. So we gotta wake up early and uh, we booked the tour there. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have an action packed day. So see you tomorrow. guy told us that this area is famous for um, uh, what do you call it oyster pearl fishing so they got some pictures here and he told us that the people here are rich because it's close to China so they got they can do a lot of import export they got Halong Bay they got pearls and they got like a new highway now so it's people here are pretty rich anyways I'm gonna need some coffee I hope they have egg coffee here I would like to try it It's even on their money, I think. So gloomy out. 
Like, I don't know if it's smog or just gloom. But still, it's pretty crazy. Like, this landscape is pretty insane. Pretty wild. All right, we're currently at our first uh, land stop, which is Titop Island, named after a uh, Soviet Union astronaut. Second person ever to go to space, according to the guide. Um, he visited this place back in the 60s um, to have some relaxed time and some lunch. And then the uh, president at the time, Ho Chi Minh, actually named this island to him. So uh, the relations between the Soviet Union and Vietnam was really good at the time. We can hike to the top and uh, there's a beach, but there's no one swimming because it's not really good weather. But uh, yeah, let's check it out. in its steps. I hope we can make the boat. You know what this feels like, babe? Like these uh, pictures from uh, the queue on Everest, which is sort of similar. Even, even on the highest mountain in the world, there will be a queue. this switch pod because that means I can just get taller than all these people it's busy oh my god all right and now we have to prepare for some kayaking so I'm not sure if I dare to bring the camera for that um, probably just gonna bring the phone but yeah kayaking is up next very pretty that's true it is really nice but uh, yeah it's uh, <laughs> I mean the, the views are pretty interesting all right babe where are we now where are we hiking towards not a cave this time no kayaking slash fighting now just hiking let's see place was discovered in he said 19th century and then exactly 1901 which is the 20th century so can you imagine that only 125 years ago that was the time when the first people came here and today <laughs> it's overwritten by people so funny craziness
was the last stop. I think we're just gonna go back to the harbor now. It's about, what time is it, five? It's 4.30. I'm still gonna go back by bus, so let's see. But yeah, it's cool. I like it, but it's mass tourism, like mass tourism. You know, probably the most insane I've seen. But yeah, still worth it, I guess. Sort of. like that we're back in Hanoi what you want to go that way we're currently at the night market that's why you see only a few scooters and no cars because they barricaded this area off for the weekend night market so um, yeah we are starving so let's try to find some food We got full again. But yeah, we also try new things. I think this is chicken as well. And this is beef with rice noodles. I'm starving, let's eat. <laughs> We're sitting a little low. They got these like tiny little chairs. Like my knees just can't handle it. Anyway, we're having a little dessert. It looks pretty amazing. This is like jackfruit. And then you got lychee with, uh, okay, you call it gentle. What is it made of? <laughs> it is sweet, right? Yes. Yeah, it's sweet. And this is jackfruit. Amazing. Oh my god, it's amazing. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Thai mango sticky rice because the inside is actually sticky rice. And then they have this coconut milk you put on top. But it's jackfruit instead of mango. Interesting combination, but really good. guys we're back in the hotel room I'm absolutely shattered after today so we're gonna have a good night's sleep and tomorrow we're gonna explore more of Hanoi but uh, yeah I think I'm gonna cut this part of the Vietnam trip I hope you enjoyed it I hope you had fun watching and uh, yeah please like the video if you liked it please leave a comment down below please subscribe if you haven't already and then I'll see you in part two of the Vietnam trip see you then bye bye